Hey you guys, it's girl Julie Jan. I come back with another unboxing. Um, I know I haven't did an unboxing video in a long time, but here I am today. Um, so I ordered this. Wow. Um, I ordered this in. When was that? February or March? One of them. And it came like that in three days. Um, so it was very fast shipping. They had it packaged just so neatly. Um, I know y'all like, girl, are you just opening it? Yeah, I'm just opening it because I've been moving back and forth, back and forth. But now I got some orders to do. So I really want to use my heat press. And this is a five in one. If I can find the link where I got mine from, it was a really reasonable price. I think it was like 200 and something dollars. But it's five and one. It has two sizes cup plates, um, a hat press, the regular shirt press, two different size plate press. So we're about to get into the unboxing. And um, it came with instructions. Instructions is pretty damaged, I guess. But um, when I first opened it, which was just now, it had it like that right there. So this is the product certificate. So I'm gonna keep both of these. And of course, this tells you how to exchange um, everything. And I've been wanting one of these for so long because I wanna do plates. Um, I wanna pe people play, um, put people face on their plate or do um, weddings to where I can do their um, monograms inside of plates and they can keep them. Um, but yeah, here's the heat press uh, machine and how the instructions on how to work it. So we're about to get into unboxing it. Okay, starting off, of course, I see the two plate presses. So this is for this is for a larger plate, and it already has that Teflon on there so that you won't burn your stuff. And then it comes with um, this, which you hook to the heat press to. Um, start it so this is the big one and this is for a small plate um, so those are my plate presses and this is the side you'll be pressing on it has teflon, teflon on them so these two it will hook to the actual machine so yeah Then, um, this is um, the cup press. So, um, let's see. I don't think I have a cup to show you guys how it would work. But it's two of them. So this is a smaller one and of course once you put it in here and you clamp it that's how it'll go so it'll stick um, I think this one is the bigger one this one looks smaller but um this is how you would work that and of course you would hook this to the uh, machine on the side and then you just Put, place your cup. I don't have. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm gonna use this. Okay. Um, my son like doing wings with this sauce. So, so what you would do is, I think this is the smaller one. So you would slide it in like this, and then you would put it like this. Now that is a perfect size. And if it's a coffee cup, the little handle would be sticking out this way. So you'll just place it in there like that and the handle part will be sticking up. So once you put the sleeve around it or whatever you want to stick onto there, a face, a photo, a name, anything. Um, and that that one is dishwasher safe. If you use this, it's dishwasher safe. So um, yeah, and this is how you do the pressure. Loosen some of the pressure if the cup is really big. So yeah. And then you can change them, switch them out um, whenever you're doing another one. So you just hook this one to the um, 
machine. So I'm gonna try to stick this back in here. I'm gonna try to keep them back in the box so I won't lose them. It's a lot of pieces, and I, I'm telling you guys, it's a good price. Um. Here is um, I have the hat press. So if you have these little things, I hate them. So if you have um, the hat, this would go down on the base part and the cap would be sticking up here. Um, so it'd be like the, what do you call it? The duck, I'm gonna use the duck mouth. And this part would sit like that where the hat would be for you to put the thing in there so I see you have the cord here this is about to make a mess guys all right let's see what else we got in here okay oh two-sided oh I hate these little foam thingies they get everywhere so it's two-sided one is a I think that's a Phillips and this one is a flat head so it's two-sided that is so neat and then this this is um what your cat will rest on so the hat will go down like this. So that will go down like this. And then this would smash like this. And then the beer the beak would be sticking up like that. Or if you're doing a beak, you sit the beak there and put it there. Okay. Um that is, but it looked kind of important. So let's see. I'm gonna have to get that out. Oh my gosh, my mom's gonna kill me. Oh, let me see if you guys can see. Yeah. Um, I might have to have my son to help me lift this thing out. This foam stuff is everywhere. And not saying that the company, they have it from the company. I had this in the closet for so long. It was either February or March when I got this, and I'm just now opening it. So when they sent it, it was wrapped nicely. There was no dents, no anything. So I really, really, oh my gosh, that is so heavy. I'm going to have to get my, one of my sons to help me, and I'll be back. So, yeah, my son came in here, and he helped me. Um, So, here it is. I got the one that pulled away. And, uh, y'all, this stuff is all over the house. It's a little mess. So, this is my heat press. This is the one I chose. I wanted something that was transportable. But this thing is so freaking heavy, y'all. I ain't gonna transport this bad baby nowhere. Let it go like that. And it locks. And then I got it where it swings away this way. Or swings away all the way this way. So I can lay the shirt down, then pull it back. I'm gonna turn it on. But I don't know if I'm supposed to keep this in here or not. Um... If they just sent this padding along with it, I'm going to have to read up on it. But this is like super thick. And it's, it's nice. I don't know if I'm supposed to have this on there. I'm going to have to um, read more on it. I'm thinking I'm supposed to have it on there. But I'm going to turn it on. And let's see. Um, how it is. Oh my 
my gosh, you guys, this stuff is all over the house. So yeah, I'm letting it heat up because I do have some shirts to press. Um, I'm guessing this is how the temperature is set up and the minutes of time. Um, so right now, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use my thing. Um, this table is a mess, you guys, but I've been using my Silhouette Cameo. I got the Silhouette Cameo 3. And I love it. And um, this is the shirt I'm going to be making. How's your love game? And I love this easy wheat. Um, and I also got it in black. So that's what I'm doing right now. Trying to do this. But yeah, you guys, this is my unboxing for this machine. Um... I am going to come back one day and show you guys me using it once I get a, um, a hold of using it, get used to using it and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to get up to 250 degrees and I got to do it for 15 minutes for the first time. Let it cool, throw the paper off, do it again for 15 more minutes and then we're done. Let it cool and then take it off and you're done. So yeah, you guys, this is my heat press machine. I hope you guys like it. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, leave them below. Y'all already know the deal. All right, bye.